Baboon TV presents Five Health Myths People Still Believe Number 1 A gallon of water a day is probably what you heard, but the truth is there's no such thing as the right amount of water you need to drink because it all depends on the person and the lifestyle they engage in. You may need to modify your fluid intake depending on how active you are, where you live, your health, and if you are pregnant and or breastfeeding, says Jerry Love, a certified personal trainer and creator of the Get Ripped Workout. Eight ideal glasses of water a day is something we have all been told to consume, but turns out our bodies may need more or less than that amount. This is true, especially if you're exercising often or getting water in the form of water-rich foods like fruits and veggies, or even water-rich drinks like skimmed milk or juice that also count in terms of body hydration. The bottom line is, as Love says, as the general rule of thumb, your fluid consumption is probably healthy if you drink enough to feel a little thirst and your urine is light yellow or without color. Number two, heated workouts are so much better for you because you burn more calories sounds a little fishy. The truth is, this is just an illusion. You burn more calories when you work harder, says Liz Nepperent, a health and fitness expert and national spokesperson for the American Council on Exercise. The more sweat you make, the harder you think you're working, but to actually burn more, your muscles need to add effort, your heart needs to beat faster, and your breathing rate needs to quicken, all of which may not be happening, although you're tricked to think so due to the sweat you're producing, Nepperent says. But what about the numbers on the scale that tell you otherwise after a sweat session? Nipperin says that it is true concerning the initial weight loss, but the minute you have a drink or anything, the weight is replaced. And the claims of heat giving a better stretch? Amy Dixon, a celebrity trainer and exercise physiologist, claims it's not necessarily a good thing. Not only can exercising in the heat be dangerous, it could cause you to get so deep into certain yoga poses that you might have to call a friend to help you out of them. Ouch! The bottom line is, there's a difference between getting sweaty due to workout intensity and the sweat from external factors, which are unnecessary due to their inability to burn extra calories or stretch a little deeper. Number 3. You've probably heard of the doing a lot of reps of light weights to avoid bulking up. The truth is, it's a myth that just won't fade. Women don't have the hormones or muscle mass men have to get large muscles. Nipperent says you'd have to spend hours and hours in the gym to build up muscle mass, and even then, most women are incapable of really bulking up. Don't shy away from the weights that challenge you. To reshape your body, Nipperent recommends lifting heavier weights and pushing yourself to the point where you fatigue your muscles within 8 to 15 reps. Bottom line, it's a great idea to incorporate heavy weightlifting into your workout routine. Just be sure to gradually work up to more challenging weights and always practice good lifting form and technique. If you're not sure how to perform a certain move, ask a trainer or look to helpful online resources. Number 4. Sweat to detox your body, right? Wrong. The truth is, little toxins do exit through our sweat glands, but they only make up 1% of the total amount. Love says the main role of sweating is to regulate the temperature of the body. The main organs responsible for excreting waste are actually the gastrointestinal tract, the liver, kidneys, immune system, and lungs. The bottom line is, a good amount of sweat is good for the body, but in terms of feeling healthier as opposed to detoxifying your body. Number 5. We all hear that to get flat abs, we have to work them daily. The truth is, similar to all other muscle groups in our bodies, our abs need recovery and rest periods. Tom Holland, an exercise physiologist and the author of Beat the Gym, says training a muscle causes its breakdown and its repair and reconstruction is allowed during its rest phase. Crunches, planks, and many ab exercises do have benefits, but there isn't a need to do hundreds of reps or daily performance. What's best for our abs on a daily basis is eating habits. Abs are made in the kitchen, not by crunches, Holland says. Bottom line is, Remember, your abs are like any group of muscle that needs recovery times, and be sure to accompany that with a diet that will quicken the results. Thanks for watching another amazing video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.